Erson, firstly, starting with last week, talk us through the game. What did you make of the game against Western Sydney and, and, and how did you rate the performance? I mean, it's very hard for a team that's qualified for the finals and playing against a team that's trying to make the finals. Um, you always got to be mentally and physically prepared for, for a game like that because it's the last game of the season for us but, um, and we've qualified. But physically and mentally, it's a different preparation for us compared to the other games during the season. Um, to be honest, we were, well, I was expecting Wanderers to be more aggressive on the ball than what they were in the game because it's their final game to make finals. And, you know, um, I think we as a team played really well. I think we were very professional in what we did because um, over my time in football, you'd see those sort of games where the opposition team would just let the home team win um, because obviously the opposition team would have made the finals. But um, full credit to the, for, for the boys um, and the coaching staff this year. We've made finals and we've got a great game coming up against Melbourne Victory. How much confidence is that performance given the squad leading into a knockout game against Victory? Oh, I, I don't. I think the team's already got their confidence there from the previous games. Um, so last, last, well, last game of the season was more formality, really, for us than anything. But um, I think we just did Brisbane Raw a favour there, didn't we? So um, I mean, you said about confidence leading up to the victory game. I think the boys are full of confidence, um, and I think you know. If we play the way we do play, that we have been playing in the last three weeks prior to the Sydney game, I think we'll um, play really well against them. Looking at Melbourne victory, what does the team need to do? Does it just play our own games? Do we have to worry about any opposition players or do we have to exploit no. any weaknesses or anything no, like that? I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think that um, we have to worry about too much of what they're going to do. I think. It, anything we just worry about what we're going to do finals is a very different feeling and you know, it's a very different football style of playing i think um it's finals is all about errors and mistakes you know you got to make at least uh the less amount of mistakes in the game to win i think finals um i think we'll just play our game um play to our strengths. I think when we play to our strengths and play simple football and play the football that Marco wants us to play, I think we're very hard to, to beat and we'll show that on Sunday. What about yourself being a Melbourne boy playing against a Melbourne club with the opportunity to potentially knock them out? Does that mean a little bit extra to you? Or? No, I've never played in, a, you know, in any of those teams before so it doesn't really mean anything. My first A-League club is Adelaide United so it might be my last two, you never know. But. Um, no, I have no, no feelings towards them at all because it's just another team against, you know, we're playing against, so, yeah. You mentioned finals matches being a little bit extra special. Um, so far this season we've played Melbourne Victory, starting back in the FFA Cup when we beat them. The games have always been quite entertaining. Yeah. A lot's happened. Um, do you think everything is pointing towards another massive game um, this weekend? Oh, definitely. There's a history there, isn't there, with the finals. Um, uh, I don't think, I think looking up to the finals campaign throughout the finals campaign at the moment, I think the most entertaining game is going to be Adelaide versus Victory, isn't it? Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of fans out there will be glued to the TV watching this game for sure. Um, I think it's going to be a great entertaining game. A few, a few tackles flying here and there, I'm sure, but it's all part of final series, isn't it? So it's going to be a great game to watch, I think. What have you made of that rivalry yourself? Have you played against, or played in some of the biggest derbies in European mm. football? I know, let's be honest, it doesn't compare to yeah, what you've yeah, experienced, yeah, but yeah. the level of anticipation yeah. and, and the feel of yeah, it. Yeah, for the fans here, it's 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 a, it's a, it's a, you can feel that anticipation that they have in the finals. Um, finals is always finals. It's always fun to play finals. It's it's. It's exciting. You get a, it doesn't matter what level it's, of football it is. Um, it's always exciting to play finals, even if it's an indoor soccer game final. You know, it's 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 exciting. Um, and I think anyone that any team that's in a final will want to win a final. Um, this is one of our steps towards the grand final. You know, 
hopefully we, as I said before, we stick to our strengths and play our game, I think we'll have a great opportunity to make the final. Marco and the coaching staff have a pretty much a full roster to choose from, with the exception of Jengis, unfortunately. Um, how good is it knowing that you know the coaching staff have the ability to pick probably the best team um, leading into this game, whereas during the season yeah, you had no one, yeah. we had a lot of injuries. Yeah, well, he's very lucky, isn't he? Uh, we're all lucky. We have got you know everyone's fit at the moment, you know, ready to play finals. Uh, we were, we were, oh, wouldn't say struggling. We were on demand on players when we needed to win maybe crucial games, we thought. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's Marco's, it's, it's what a coach does, isn't it? It's the stress that they have to choose from which players to play and which players that won't be into the 16-man squad against victory. And just finally, uh, you mentioned their fans uh, earlier, Melbourne Victory away, generally a lot of LA United supporters make the trip over, it's not that far, and do support. How important is it for the fans that do travel to make the uh, atmosphere even a bit more special? Um, yeah, of course, us? you know, it's always, it's good to hear our home fans be there, even if it's a away game, to support us. Um, when you play, you always hear on the back of your back of your ear some of the LA fans cheering for us, and it's always important for us um, leading, you know, playing a final. I think as well. So hopefully they can come and support us in Melbourne. Um, we'd uh, we'd appreciate if they come and support us as well. We we, we need their help because um, they've done really well this year for us at our home games, and including our away games. Um, and I'm sure they will come because they like the Derby games, don't they? Um, I remember the one at Etihad, they are all there. So hopefully they'll come out this weekend and support us. And I'm sure they all will. Um, can't wait. It's going to be a great game.